Our next game takes us out to the Northwest, where the Washington State Cougars hit the road to take on the number 25 Boise State Broncos. This is a Saturday night kickoff, 10 p.m. late kickoff, Eastern Time, on Fox Sports 1. Boise State currently favored in this one by 7.5 points, playing in Albertson's Stadium in Boise, Idaho, one of the coolest stadiums in all of college football. Last week we talked about um, BYU Stadium in Provo, Utah, and the beautiful mountain scenery. And this one, your eyes will be directly glued to the blue field in Boise. Such a spectacular view for a college football fan. And I actually haven't played at Boise's field in the new college football game yet, so I need to check that out. But nonetheless, let's let's keep it to the game. Brad, I'll turn it over to you. These are two very interesting programs heading into the 2024 season. We know the history of Boise State in, in, in years' time, winning against Oklahoma in a close one back in the day in the Fiesta Bowl, and then Washington State getting left out, staying in the Pac-2, and hoping to add a few teams in a couple of years to bounce back. They got a key win last week, and uh, Brad, who, who do you have coming out on top in this one? This is going to be a fun one. I'm really, I'm really excited about this one. Um, you know, Boise State's, you know, coming in at 25, and we haven't heard a ton about them. I feel like, of course, um, beat Georgia Southern, lost a very close one to Oregon, then took care of business against Portland State. And you guys know they 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 uh, feature one of the best playmakers, one of the best running backs in the country, in Ashton uh, Genty, 586 yards, not, guys, nine touchdowns already. I mean that is just absolutely unheard of. He's got a long of, of 77, 10 and a half yards per carry. This guy, this guy's just unbelievable. And that offense, it, it runs. I mean, it it truly, truly runs through him, guys. This is another big stat that that jumped out to me. Boise State as a team on defense already 12 sacks, so they know how to get after the quarterback and um, and put pressure and and just you know try to make teams one dimensional. I I got to talk about Washington State though because uh, to me just you know I hate it for them that they're you know I hate it for them that that they're in this pack too now because guys I'm looking at the schedule if I think there's a legit chance that this team could have you know one loss or maybe undefeated. I mean really dominated Texas Tech and then a couple weeks ago in the Apple Cup beat a I think a really good Washington team so hats off to the Washington State Cougars and once again talking about a really fun playmaker quarterback John Mateer this guy just is I mean when you say dual threat you you you, you know you put this guy's picture up next to it has thrown for 1100 yards 11 touchdowns and has rushed guys for 425 yards he's got a long of 68 yards and five touchdowns so we're talking about I mean two running backs and one of them is is playing quarterback too so this is going to be a really really fun game um man uh, Nate Rooster I, I gotta tell you Albertson Stadium it's one of my destination places I really really want to go here so if any Boise State fans in the comments wants to hook us up with a game in the future I know we would absolutely love it but this in all seriousness this is um um that's beautiful country out there and to, to get to see a game on the blue turf I hope to get out there one day but Boise State fans probably going to make you mad. I'm taking the Washington State Cougars in, in the upset here. I just think that Boise State struggles to um to slow down um, John Mateer. I think he's just too much, and and his ability to run is going to keep that that Boise State defense um from being you know attacking. You know if they do attack and they get out of their lanes, he's going to kill them on the ground. And I think that's the difference in this one. Give me the Cougars. Wow, wow, Brad, trying to catch all the strays in the comments this week. You know, one thing that's interesting to me that sticks out is the Cougars are 3-1 and one against the spread this year. Boise State 1-2 and two against the spread this year, to your, to your point, Brad, about picking Washington State. But, Rooster, I'll turn it over to you. Thoughts on this game and uh, who comes out in the Pac-2 versus Mountain West matchup? Well... As Brad said, Ashton Denty is just a force to be reckoned with. And Washington State, they've had a couple of tough wins. They've had they've been playing in some close games. They've been able to get the job done. But one thing I want to point out is, what has Boise State done so far to deserve a top 25 ranking? Sure. Because Oregon has shown that they are not what they were last year. They don't have Bo Nix. They don't have – 
Tez Johnson. They don't have Bucky Irving. They don't have half of the returning offense. So, and their ranking is really – their ranking was just from what was done last year. And then they go in there and they played with a three-point game. I mean, they still – and they made it a close game, but at the end of the day, you still lose the game. And Oregon has not looked impressive whatsoever this season. And then beating Portland State and whoever else. I mean, it's just not a good schedule so far. They haven't they haven't done anything, in my opinion, to prove. You know, Georgia Southern actually did turn it all over Georgia Southern. But, I mean, Georgia Southern has no defense whatsoever. And then you have Portland State. That is nothing to brag about. But Washington State, on the other hand, has been able to put up strong performances week in and week out. They've been able to run the ball effectively. They've been able to throw it when they need to. And with all that being said, as much as a uh, home field advantage Boise State is going to have in this game, I'm going to take the team that has a full offense compared to to a team that's going to be relying on one man to save the team. So I think if Washington State can just get about three or four – stops throughout the course of the game, just get a stop a quarter, they should be able to come out of this game pretty handily, I would say. And I think that seven-and-a-half point spread, that's a little rough for it to be an undefeated team because Washington State, I think this game has playoff implications for both teams. Sure. Sure. Washington State, if they win this game, they have a very solid chance of going undefeated and running the table, which would leave them as an undefeated um, – at large team, which I think would be very tough to leave out. And then if Boise State wins this game, I mean, there'll be at they'll shoot up the rankings in terms of the group of five competition. And at the end of the day, I think the winner of this game has a very good chance of win, of making it the college football playoff. But I think I'm going to take Washington State in this one because Boise State just has hasn't proved much, in my opinion. Yeah, y'all make a lot of great solid points. Choosing this game, both of y'all picking Washington State. It makes me want to go Boise State to get back in the hunt. But I got one. I got my eyes on one guy in this in this game, and that's the quarterback for the Washington State Cougars, John Matier. Such a beautiful head of lettuce. I mean, just absolute <laughs> force of main. We talked about this guy before, and I got to talk about him again. Look, there's one thing about Washington State, with the exception of maybe one or two guys at quarterback, they all have great hair. And uh, when I think of Washington State, I, I think of Mike Leach again. We talked about Texas Tech, and we talked about what Mike Leach did for the Washington State program as well. He just made it fun. He made it exciting, and he put them on the map in a way that we never thought was possible for a team up in the Northwest. And then you look at a quarterback like Gardner Minshew, who played under Mike Leach at Washington State. Then steps in John Matier to take the reins. I know it's several years later, but, man. He keeps it going with the great hair. think he could potentially get a great stash going like the men's shoe mustache, but maybe that's trademarked already up there um, in, at Washington State. But nonetheless, you all make a lot of great points. I also want to add that Washington State has five interceptions um, thus far on their defense, and that's pretty impressive through, through four weeks. Um, that's about one per game. I know that's – kindergarten math and I'll probably get heat for that in the comments but hey that's really good not many teams can can say that right now even some of the top dogs so uh it, it, it's going to be a battle test for sure for both teams I think Boise State's going to play Washington State very closely uh, I think it's going to come down to to the fourth quarter but in the end y'all mentioned John Matier's running game y'all also mentioned uh the running back for uh, Boise State and Ashton Genty. I just think in the end, Washington State just has a little bit more explosiveness on offense and on defense. Give me the Washington State Cougars and a close one in Boise, Idaho, come Saturday night. Let us know down in the comments who you think comes out on this on top in Boise, Idaho, and subscribe down below.